Hi, my name is Valerie. And I'm Cheryl. And we are the Ministry Media Mavens. We want to thank you so much for joining us today. And we're going to do something right at the top of this. We're going to ask that you like, share, and get that button to be notified when we are live. So today we're going to be talking about premieres on Facebook Live. Isn't that a nice topic to talk about today? Yes, premiere. Do you know the difference between a premiere and a live on Facebook? We're going to delve into that just a little bit. So keep watching. Hey, everybody. This is Cheryl, one half of Ministry Media Mavens. And today we're going to do a quick tutorial on Facebook premieres, a step-by-step process on actually how to do that. So for some of you, um, maybe your pastor isn't really comfortable going live, live. That means right in the moment and you want to pre-record your services. So that means either pre-recording everything. That means the music, having your praise team do their songs pre-recorded, having your pastor do his message pre-recorded, having the announcements, the offerings, everything pre-recorded. That's something that our church does. We pre-record the entire service. We package it together and then we upload it to Facebook Premiere. Premiere is just a function where you can upload a finished pre-recorded video and schedule it to go live at a certain time. It allows you to be able to interact in real time with everyone that's watching. So it appears as if it is live, but it's actually pre-recorded video that premieres at a certain time. And so I'm gonna walk you through that process of doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. And so what you'll see is this is our church's Facebook page, New Beginnings Church of God by Faith. So after you've pre-recorded all of your video, after you have produced it, assembled it and made it one file, then you're ready to actually upload that to Facebook. And so I'm going to walk you through the process of what that looks like. And so all you do is you pretend like you're actually uploading a regular post. So where you see where right here, I'm circling where it says create post, you'll see photo video. So you're just going to click on that. And here it'll give you the option. You'll see the drop down that just came so that I can look on my actual desktop or on an external drive. I may be using to find the video that I'm looking for. I use an external drive with our ministry. And so I'm going to just go to our external drive to find it. And there's our church's file. And so I'm going to click where I know I saved it. And so here you'll see, um, this was our last Sunday's message that's already packaged, ready to go. And I always title it. So I know what it is. And then all you do is click open. And this is the window that you will see come open. It's going to say upload video. You'll see number one means create the post and number two is going to say publishing options. So here I'm going to put that this is our Sunday morning worship. So I'm going to title it there and here you can just have a quick description of what your message is going to be. Our last message or service had our pastor's testimony. And so I'm going to maybe just put Pastor Armstrong's testimony. And it allows you to also add tags, which are keywords that helps people find your video. So a lot of times I'll just add just um, Christianity, Christian, and you'll see as I type it there, it's going to pull up so that people that are looking for Christian content. And so we're going to continue to add different tags that we think people will be searching for when they're looking for our video. So just keep going ahead and tagging those. Also, we're going to change the language to English so that if we do subtitles, they will come up in English. And then if you look at the bottom left, you'll see how much of this video has been uploaded. So that's going to let you know that you'll have to make sure you give yourself enough time for that entire video to upload before you need to use it. Now, typically, our services run between 30 and 45 minutes, and it takes us about an hour to upload that to Facebook. So make sure that you provide ample time 
when you do this. You want to make sure that you're not just thinking that you're going to upload it 20 minutes before your service starts. No, you need to allow at least an hour. I would give it two hours. I always do hours the actual day before. So I'm going to upload our service on Saturday for Sunday morning. But if you're going to do it Sunday morning, be sure to allow at least two hours prior to your service time to make sure that Facebook has had time to render and upload that file so that it's prepared. And then on number two, you'll see publishing options. The first one says choose how to publish your post. One is video post. And then you'll see this button that I don't have selected yet says premiere. That is the option you want to select premiere. And it says when your video publishes, it will be labeled as a premiere. Afterwards, it will appear as a regular post. So when you go live, typically on the upper left corner of every live video, it says live. But when you do the premiere function, it's going to say premiere. That just lets you know and your audience know that this is actually pre-recorded content that you are showing live. So you're going to schedule that or click that button and then it's going to say schedule. So it's going to ask you, when do you want to premiere this video? And so you choose the, the date and the time. And so when you click on the date that's there, it brings up a calendar so you can look. OK, let's see. Next Sunday is the let's move it to July, July 5th. And our Sunday service is at 10 a.m. And so I'm going to put it at 10 a.m. And it also says here, it says add image. You can add a image that you include so that people will know. Most people will have an image that says, you know, Sunday service coming. I usually use a picture of our church, but you can use whatever you want to. And you'll see also over in the right hand corner in the blue box, it gives you a checklist of things that you need to be thinking about before you publish. So I love that it actually tells you these are things that you need to be thinking about before you publish. The video has to be at least three minutes for you to premiere it. And most of our Sunday services are at least three minutes long. So that's always going to be checked. You'll have to include a video description. You need to include tags. Now, these aren't things that you have to have, but they're things that are better. They tell Facebook, this is a video that is worth exposing an audience to. So if you want your video, if you want your Sunday service to be exposed to more people, clicking all of these buttons on this checklist, making sure that you have all of these items on this checklist is going to say to Facebook, this is a video. This is a service worth exposing to more people because the algorithm will see that you have checked off all of these marks. So you see it's three minutes long. We got a check mark on that. We have a video description. We have a check mark on that. I showed you how we included tags and what tags are for. They're just for us to help people find your video. And then, yes, this is an HD video that we have. But you see there's an uh, exclamation, a red exclamation point that says add to playlist or series. That means I have not added that to a playlist or a series. So if I schedule down, so if I scroll down on this particular page, you'll see add to playlist, this option here. And so I'm going to add this to a playlist. You can see that we have several playlists for our ministry. We do Testimony Tuesday, Youth Sunday. Um, for our Sunday school, we do Sunday school nuggets on Saturday night. We have a Wednesday Bible study. And so I'm going to scroll down because this is morning worship to our Sunday morning worship. And what this feature does is it helps you when you're searching for something, let's say somebody said they were really, really blessed by a message that your pastor preached. You know, you can search for Sunday morning worship to find it. If someone says, hey, Wednesday night, um, when pastor preached, blah, 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 I need to find that message. If you already have them in playlist, it makes it easier to find. We've been in quarantine for over three months now. That's a lot of video to search for if you do not have it segmented in playlists. So playlists really, really help. And if your pastor preaches in series, you see add to a series. So the, and they say that's for episodic content. So let's say your pastor says we're going to have a four part 
series on forgiveness. If you have included those messages in a series, that just makes it easier for you to find when you go back. And so you can look and see that we have done everything. So I'm going to go back to create posts. We've added the title. We have a description. We have tags. We are uploading our video. And you'll see here thumbnail. You can actually have a thumbnail. I mentioned that when we were uploading the video, it gave you the option to add an image. We usually use just our basic image. So I'm going to click on this. What Facebook will give you are what we call auto generated images. And what it does is it takes still shots through your video and you can decide whether you want to use that. You'll see these arrows back and forth at the top. So you can look through those images to see if you want to include that. We typically never include these. What we do is we add a custom image. So what I'll usually do is I'll go to um, my hard drive or my external drive and I'll look for our graphic elements and I'm going to run through this really quickly and you'll see I have a folder called NBC OGBF branded images and that's where I have pictures of our, first, our pastor and our first lady. I have pictures of our church. I have all the social media icons with our church name here and so I'm always going to look for our and so that's under our NB social media graphic and so I typically add that one and that's just a picture of our logo and our name with the church superimposed in the background that's typically what you'll see from us on every Sunday morning it's going to be that particular image and what I want to um, advise you is once you start using an image use the same image so that when people are on your Facebook page and they're looking for let's say a Sunday morning message Sunday morning service then they know this thumbnail they use every time for Sunday morning service so when I see that thumbnail or when your audience when your members see that thumbnail they know hey that's Sunday morning service if they're looking for Wednesday night make sure that you use a branded image for your Wednesday Bible study so that when they're scrolling through your feed scrolling through your videos and they see that image they know that's a Wednesday Bible class so that's what it means to brand something so that they'll know every time okay this is Sunday morning this is Wednesday and that just helps so we try to really be consistent with the image that we use here for our thumbnail and so you've done everything for the upload and so when you click on next it shows you everything so you can go through and make sure did I cross all my eyes that dot all my T's is everything ready and you'll look as long as we've been on here this video is still only 19 percent uploaded and this is for I believe our Sunday morning message was about 40 45 minutes so we've been on here maybe 10 minutes and only 19 percent of this message has been uploaded now it's going to depend on your um, internet speed the faster your internet speed the faster your upload speed when we talked about the speed test then that means the quicker this is going to upload we have pretty fast internets so it usually only takes about 30 to 45 minutes for me to upload it but that's still a long time so if you do not have very fast internet speed it's going to take you a long time to upload this and so while it takes you a while in the forefront of this to actually prepare all of the messages put it in a production and then upload it but Sunday morning your pastor has the option just to watch and interact with the message and so the last thing we're going to do is hit schedule and once you hit schedule Facebook will still be in the background uploading that and you can actually leave this window open but be able to come back to it I'll come out of this and delete that because what I'm uploading is actually the message from last week but I wanted to show you the entire process all the way through I thought it was really really important that you see step by step how to do that what I would also recommend if you're going to actually pre-record your videos and then upload them for premiere to be shown on Sunday morning I would recommend you pick several people that are in your media ministry to be responsible to respond 
on Sunday morning just because you have it set and just because it's going to go off like clockwork because at clockwork at 10 o'clock in the morning Facebook is going to start that video that you just uploaded you will have to do nothing on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock but my recommendation to you is to have several people be responsible for actually interacting with people welcoming them into the services when the people say hey i'm here from so and so hey this is sister so and so and saying hello to everybody that comes in but that's how you do a facebook premiere it offers you so much flexibility and it offers your pastor and your leadership and your praise team the opportunity to pre-record everything and then on sunday morning enjoy the service with everybody else I hope this has been helpful and if so let us know in the comments we enjoy being able to share with you things that we are learning things that we are using the tools that actually help you build wonderful services and publish them online so I hope this has been helpful and until next time thanks so much God bless we thank you so much for watching and we hope that that tutorial was helpful for you you can see that Premiere is a wonderful thing, especially if you're going to pre-record your messages or your services to show on Sunday. It's a way that you can have those set and then actually interact with the people that show up for your services. And so we hope that this has been helpful. And if it is, let us know if you think that you're going to use Premiere in your service. Let us know down in the comments. And always, we always say do what? Like and subscribe yes yes like and subscribe so that we can make sure that we can continue to bring you great content we thank you all so much for watching bye bye